So my current theory on 3D printing is, and this is after, what, starting in 2010 <laughs> with a solid doodle. And it's basically, uh, my new theory is that 3D printing is like childbirth, okay? You go through the experience, all the, all the expense and pain, okay? Uh, then you take a break and after some period of time when you have forgotten the pain, uh, you decide to go ahead and have another little 3D printer baby. And of course, now I remember the pain and unlike a child, I've had three children. Well, my wife did, my two wives did, uh, one anyway. I opened a can of worms there, didn't I? <laughs> but uh, anyway, I've had children, and um, they're precious, lovely things, and they are worth the pain. But I'm, and I can't speak for women. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to come up with an analogy, and it's getting long and drawn out. But anyway, so I bought this any cubic uh, resin printer because I've had filament printer before and I thought I'd try something new and I just haven't figured this out yet. I remember now how much pain it was to go through, you know, to learn to the, the learning curve and the, you know, the getting the firmware up to date and these things, you know, what do they do? Sit in a warehouse for 10 years and then they can't keep the firmware up to date on them. Good gosh. They ship them out whenever. Anyway, I keep fanning, uh, fanning, panning up here to show you the vent system I was putting in because this is part of my you know thing with this is that I was printing a little housing and I'm going to show it to you in a minute to put a vent I mean a vent fan a little computer fan in there to suck out because you know obviously if you don't have uh, a draft if you don't have air supply the vent is not going to pull the stinky air out. You have to have a fan, especially in any kind of halfway airtight building. I've got some air leaking around the doors that can supply that much air. And there's a hole back there where those tubes come through, which doesn't work. The autofill doesn't even work. It doesn't matter though. I just pour it in there. Anyway, to the subject at hand, I was hoping to get some input from people. I was gonna show you right quick what I was trying to do and show you the results I was getting and see if I could get some help. And if I can't, and I can't get any success out of this thing, I'm just gonna sell it and uh, turn my space back into a little work area. This is a tiny house I built uh, for temporary living conditions until I could build a bigger cabin out there on some acreage I'm up in the woods in the mountains. And um, I really would rather convert this to a little workspace to do other little projects on if I can't get this working. Anyway, let's go look at it. So here's my pile of junk. Okay, this was the first thing I tried to print. It's a basket to go on my drone. We were trying to do this little um, project a few of us on discord it's long that's a long story by itself um and i was printing this payload basket okay so everything the dimensionally everything works good and i printed these clips uh to hold it on there and here the first anomaly i ran into was this little bar it's not supposed to be here i imagined it was a, some sort of support that it automatically stuck in there, but I didn't see it on the front end. And, um, you know, after I sliced it and it just randomly, and I actually redrew these two or three times in SketchUp. And I'm gonna show you, you know, some of that stuff in a second. So anyway, I cut out, I made the mistake of trying to cut that out before I um, cured, cured this, excuse me. I just ate my, my banana and apple for lunch. I got the hiccups now. So I tried to cut that out and I forgot to cure this in the, you know, the curing machine before and it snapped. But what these do, 
is these we're going to um, sit in here like this and they were going to you know wrap around the arm like that and I had some little clips that we're going to come in here so anyway these were the clips that we're going to hold the, <clears throat> this onto the drone I'm just going to put a camera in there an infrared camera and whatever else kind of cool stuff but the first thing I ran into was um, see these corners see how they don't line up this is uh this is supposed to be one uh, cylinder or rod all the way up see and imagine you can say well you made it too thin well it's almost an eighth of an inch in diameter look at this one now that's part of the support there i never took off but see how zigzaggy it is zigzag 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 okay it's supposed to be straight up like these okay just straight zigzag zigzag see zigzag zigzag okay so I, and it's still tacky i put this anyway I, I i didn't even have the heart to cure these things because i'm so frustrated with the you know the dimensions worked out good the holes worked out fine but look at the droopiness see how the resin built up so this is upside down right so as it would dip up and down the resin would build up on the bottom of that flat spot there so that was my first little junky project which really isn't a, you know worth keep i mean i may cure it but anyway so the second project was the fan project okay and this is it right here i was going to have this little part that held the fan Okay, and then a part that came over and hooked over the top of it. And then the vent, that was gonna go in line with the vent. Okay, and I was gonna have a power supply for the fan. So it would suck air through, through the housing, from the hole in the back, through the housing and suck the air and that vent goes outside, okay? So this is what I got, okay? Now, these things were stuck good. This broken part is part of the bed, the raft, I mean. Okay, so I've got it set. Uh, I'll have to look at the settings. I, mean, I know that's probably what you're gonna say, but look at this, part of this cylinder, this supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to mimic a piece of PVC fitting, right? This one turned out halfway decent. You know, and these were printed at the same time. They were sitting side by side. So what's up with that? You know, what's up with this? You know, how does how does the part how does this part above it get printed? Because it's sitting there up and down, right upside down, right? It keeps going dipping, dipping. You know, every time it dips, it gets exposed to a layer of a you know the resin to the ultraviolet light, and then it raises back up. Dip, 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 dip. And so, how does it do that? How does it skip? And let me uh, get the slicer, the sliced file out here. Okay, this is the Anycubic Photon Workshop. Okay, you see, oh, before this, I will take you to, I've got a formware. This is where I do the, the cleaning after after a SketchUp model, right? So I take this, I clean it here, then I bring it into a form, uh, you know, the workshop, okay? So no gray areas, <laughs> no gray area. Um, all these are, you know, both these are blue, no gray, okay? Now, one thing I couldn't get rid of was, the, was that little, I figured that was part of the support, right? But it's hard as a rock, man. It's gonna have to be cut out. That is not, that, that is not support material. That's just where I couldn't get the model, I couldn't get the slicer 
and the cleaner to realize it was a cylinder like this. You see, this one worked out fine. I redrew this thing three times in SketchUp and cleaned it three times. And finally I gave up, okay? So I said, okay, I'm just gonna cut that out later. But that is, I mean, that, that's probably printed as thick as this, which is eighth inch, okay? But you can see here, I got voids. That's the raft, right? Um, now this, this had a, I'll show you. This had a, a little lip in there, you see? This was gonna sit down on here. Like that, okay? okay? Not quite that far, but you get the point. And then obviously, you know, this is in line, stuck in line with the system. The uh, printer, the vent goes out up here at an angle, you know, up, up to the vent and, you know, so on. But you can see, here's where I redrew the thing, uh, you know, several times and tried to get new faces and all this kind of stuff, redrew it two or three times. And let's see, here's a, let's, oh, that's the version. That's the one that has a little slot for the power supply. So anyway, I, you know, I'm, I've done everything I could do. The only thing I, I haven't shown you are the slicer settings. Let me get my glasses back on. So what are we looking at here? Okay, this is the support. Slice parameter, here we go. Here we go. So look at these slice parameters, layer thickness, normal exposure time, off, off time, bottom exposure time, layers, anti-alias. Um, here's your Lift distance, Z, speed, you know, retract, all that. So I know there's some tricks to this. Uh, I thought there were more settings. Let's see, web printer, no machine. I've got the machine set properly, any cubic photon, M3 max. Um, now here's my uh, 3D printed knife video, you can see. I had some pretty decent success with it, over 8 million views. This was uh, 2013, almost 10 years ago. And um, that, actually the filament printers are kind of fun now that I think back on it. This was an old solid doodle, the first one, all right? I mean, the thing is, even back then it was around 900 bucks. They were expensive when they first came out. Now you could probably get one for a couple hundred bucks. I don't think, obviously they don't make this model anymore. But I'm just saying, I, I remember going through, oh, here's a good example, you see, of some of the problems you would go through with the filament printer, and it's just a, a huge learning curve, and, it's a, and it can be a pain in the butt, and I just forgot all about that. So, you know, this was a funny, this was a funny video, because it turned out pretty good, and, and my, the question was, will it cut paper? And for some reason, people freaked out over that. But uh, anyway, now I was hoping to have an upgrade. I was hoping I was upgrading to where I could have some fun printing some parts. And I'm not the kind of guy who wants to print art. I want to print functional pieces. I want to print stuff that works, that does work, right? I wanted to print this housing, put this fan in there, you know, I think the fan's gone, thank, thankfully. You know, the fan's gonna go in here, just like that. Everything was gonna fit, I already measured it. This was supposed to go down over it and close it, and then it was gonna go in line, right there at the top of the printer, and work, you know? And anyway, I'm just frustrated, as you can see. Anybody that wants to help me, I might even be willing to pay you. <laughs> uh, so just let me know, guys. I appreciate it.